Welcome back to another new edition of Windows and Current Affairs. And today, we are going to talk about the participation or youth participation in political and legislative life. Of course, as we all know, that uh, the uh, parliamentary elections of uh, um, nominating uh, new parliamentarians for a new uh, 2020 parliamentary session have uh, been concluded here uh, in Egypt and also abroad. And there is going to be a rerun uh, very soon, uh, as usual, I mean, according to the law. Uh, and um, this has tested the maturity and awareness of Egyptian people, how their political uh, awareness is being, uh, has, has matured and how keen are they to participate in political life in choosing their candidates, their representatives uh, at the uh, parliament and a lot of other things. Today we're going to talk about the participation of youth in that particular process. Very delighted to be having with us Dr. Mu'taz Abu Zaid, he's a, a professor of international law. Uh, let's first talk about the youth in general. How far do you assess youth participation in political life? this year, I mean, according to 2020? Yes, of course. Uh, firstly, I want to seize this opportunity to send my congratulations to the whole world with the memorial of birth of our uh, Prophet Muhammad. Uh, prayers and peace be upon him. Uh, and secondly, when we talk about the uh, participation of youth in the uh, political life, uh, especially in uh, the elections this year, uh, 2020 is uh, is, is, is very clear that it's a crowded year with many uh, uh, constitutional merits. I think uh, since uh, uh, a very short time we had the elections of uh, 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 the Council of, uh, 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 we can say, uh, Senates of, uh, uh, here in Egypt for the first uh, construction of its uh, existence in the political life here in Egypt. And of course uh, it will be a very good ad addendum for uh, this uh, legislative uh, power here in Egypt. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we uh, had a very uh, uh, near uh, constitutional amendments last year and of course it, it had a very great participation from youth. Uh, and of course it was a, a, a very uh, clear uh, rule that uh, youth put by themselves that uh, they are now in the uh, middle of the, the political life here in Egypt since the particip participation in the revolution of 2011 and the revolution of 2013 and of course all the constitutional merits after this by presidential elections or parliamentary elections and all referendums for the constitution and its amendments. Of course this uh, participation had a very great uh, uh, experience and very great uh, uh, appearance of youth with all their pressure and all their movement and all their uh, courage and all their uh, uh, ambitious movements for uh, having a good country, having a new country, applying the new principles for the new constitution. And of course, uh, this is clear now when we uh, uh, observe the existence of uh, youth in the uh, many uh, positions in the governmental sector and of course in the uh, uh, political and parliamentary uh, life. And this will translate uh, how much is uh, uh, participation of youth is effective and can be uh, uh, and can give a good uh, image by uh, for new Egypt, especially in the political uh, participation. Right, uh, Egypt have uh, uh, or Egyptian youth in general, Egyptian youth have knocked or uh, have been knocking doors over every front mm -hmm. in Parliament, in uh, industries, in uh, in uh, science, in technology in uh, conferences uh, they're reflecting their aspirations and everything. Uh, of course, there are challenges that are meeting them, but they are overcoming their challenges with the help of the Egyptian administration year after year. If you'd like to elaborate over that. Of course, uh, we can uh, estimate that since 2013, uh, the Egyptian youth had a very a great opportunity for participation, even in the political life and social life and economic life, uh, beginning by the presidential uh, program for training the youth and uh, uh, sending many uh, sessions of this uh, program. And uh, we have now graduates from this uh, uh, presidential program. And of course, the, uh, these 
youth are now um, participants and effective participants in many positions in the uh, Egyptian government. After that, we had a very uh, uh, large number, maybe more than four or more than five uh, annual conference for youth and especially for uh, not only the uh, Egyptian youth but the Arab one and of course the international youth who can participate in these conferences. Uh, many of them had uh, many meetings with uh, Mr. President and of course uh, uh, he listened a lot of uh, new visions, a lot of new dreams, a lot of mm -hmm. new uh, uh, of course achievements uh, can be uh, uh, contributed by uh, these youth. And um, at the third stage or we can the, uh, say the third step uh, of this participation by us, we have now a very great participation and welcoming for any constitutional merit like referendums and elections, we see uh, the use uh, the participation by organizing, by making uh, announcements, by making uh, uh, media uh, programs and by uh, helping others to uh, for awareness by the uh, needed political participation in these uh, referendums or elections. So of course, um, by, by these steps, um, the youth arranged their uh, uh, ideas and their participation. They knew how to participate, they knew when to participate, they knew how to participate in the right way. It's not only uh, uh, a way of revolutions or a way of uh, 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 participating in revolutions, but also it will be a participation in building a new country by your uh, new imagination, by your, by your new dreams and by your force that you can affect this field and you can help others to uh, uh, have the same way after you toward a new political life that we uh, need, of course, by uh, this participation of yours. Right. Of course, uh, as we can see, that youth have come a long way, like you uh, kindly elaborated, but, but at the same time, uh, they have uh, uh, proved uh, their abilities on many fronts yes. and they have taken more than one opportunity. Uh, but still they are complaining, uh, especially when it comes to uh, parliamentary, parliamentary life or uh, representation under uh, the um, um, House of Representatives. They have their reservations. Uh, and probably not everything that is taking place is uh, according to their um, consent. And, and that's why Shabab al started off, yes. uh, which is a group that in, comprises only youth. Uh, of one age group and would qualify them to be uh, future parliamentarians. Yes. How do you see that um, I mean, uh, step? Um, firstly, we must mention that uh, Egypt is, um, is not a an, an newly experienced in, uh, experiment in the political life or the parliamentary life. We, mm. we, we, uh, we are a country uh, that has a very long parliamentary uh, history and very effective one. We are uh, one of the role models of the uh, parliamentary life and constructing legislative uh, system uh, in our country and in our legislative uh, system. Uh, this is the first point. The second point, after uh, having the constitution of 2014, it was a matter of time, uh, having some intervals, having some uh, appointments to uh, make our constitutional steps to construct a, a new parliament that uh, we uh, was badly need. Uh, so uh, uh, we can uh, uh, consider that the construction or the formation of the parliament of 2015 was a very uh, uh, bad need for uh, uh, firstly, the performance of the constitution, and secondly, to generate the uh, uh, parliamentary life here in Egypt. So, of course, if they have any uh, reservations or they have any cautions or comments uh, for the uh, performance of this uh, uh, current uh, parliament, but we cannot deny uh, the participation and the support and the effective roles that they played, even uh, by uh, a very uh, uh, lack of time, maybe lack of experience, maybe lack of participation for youth uh, uh, in, in many uh, sectors of this uh, parliament. But, um, we can consider that it's a very, for, th for the first uh, uh, co uh, construction or the first formation of a new parliament after the constitution of 2014, I think it's a very, uh, uh, a very good experience and very good experiment for this role for the parliament. This is the first point. The second point for the, far for the participation in the election and giving new uh, faces and new parliamentaries by uh, 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 participating to be a nominee or participating even in the uh, political life to uh, uh, train people or to give new uh, examples for a nominee for uh, a parliament. 
Of course, this will be a time because we have uh, now an opportunity that we have many political parties and this is uh, a well and very healthy uh, atmosphere for the political participation. Uh, these political party, uh, parties uh, uh, depend mainly upon the uh, forces and experiences of, uh, uh, of youth. We can uh, notice this by uh, banners or uh, this uh, uh, media campaigns of the nominees that we have many and many faces of youth uh, here in this, uh, in this elections, even by the uh, uh, personal nominees or by the electoral list uh, that they had a certain quota or a certain percentage in this list for the seats of uh, youth in, uh, uh, to participate in this electoral uh, list. And uh, of course we have uh, another way of participation for uh, uh, youth uh, by, as you said, uh, formation or constructing for new gatherings like the uh, 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 Youth Coordinating Committee for uh, uh, the youth from all the political parties, giving a new electoral list and giving a very uh, successful uh, examples for uh, uh, youth uh, parliamentaries. And of course they had, according to these uh, nominees, uh, many seats in the last elections of the uh, uh, House of Senate here in Egypt and of course they will I think they will uh, add a new, um, a new performance and new uh, uh, views for, the, uh, for participating in this uh, uh, important uh, chamber of the uh, parliament or the uh, legislative system here in Egypt. And of course it will have a large opportunity for participation according to uh, the nominees here in uh, the current elections of the uh, House of Representatives and I think they will have uh, 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 an opportunity to have uh, more participation just to prove uh, themselves and to have this opportunity to mm -hmm. add what they are dreaming of or the imagine for this country. Mm -hmm. So, uh, given the fact that we just we were we are talking about the House of Representatives as a legislative body, yes. um, uh, legislation would require legal uh, expertise yes. at least or some knowledge or legal awareness. Uh, and talking about leg uh, legislative body and uh, legal awareness and uh, that particular very, very crucial and important element uh, uh, in, uh, in, the, uh, in the parliament which would affect directly the lives of Egyptians, uh, don't you think that would require a, qu a certain quality of nominees? Uh, who, are, who are seeking to enter the House of Representatives. If you could excuse me, we are going to go to a short break yes. and we'll come with your answer in a very short while, so stay with us. Welcome back and we're still on with Windows and Current Affairs and also talking about the participation of youth in political and legisl legislative life uh, or process, uh, Dr. Abu Zaid. We were talking about uh, the requirements for legislation inside or under uh, the ceiling of uh, the House of Representatives. Uh, of course, it's very important that you should have some awareness. You shouldn't be a judge, you shouldn't be a law expert, but you should have awareness. But with this kind of people that uh, uh, we lately have seen through the uh, time that there were lots of nominees, individuals and some uh, groups also, whoever might cross their mind, they don't have a, a political, any political awareness, they don't have any uh, partisan experience or anything, they were just, you know, passers-by, people that woke up one day and it's, it would strike their mind that they want to be uh, a, a representative inside the parliament or a parliamentarian and they just nominated themselves. How do you see this new wave of uh, nominees that we have seen that was very, very evident uh, this uh, session? Uh, I agree with you that uh, we cannot deny that um, quality and experience is needed for the uh, parliamentary life and of course for the legislative function. Um, but it's a very sensitive uh, operation to construct or to form a legislative body. Uh, firstly, you must have a representation for all the categories and all the uh, types of uh, your uh, uh, social tissue. So you have, you will, you you must represent the uh, youth. You must represent women. You must represent uh, disabled people. You must represent uh, uh, many uh, workers. You must represent, uh, uh, of course, the uh, ordinary or the uh, 
uh, standard life uh, people so you you will have a very uh, uh, a plenty of many representatives that you can accept in this uh, uh, in this legislative body and under these lines or under these titles you can uh, give the opportunity to anyone to have this uh, this uh, this chance to me to be a nominee for the uh, uh, house of representatives but on the other hand, it depends upon the awareness of the people who can consider, who can estimate what, uh, wh which nominee uh, I can uh, uh, choose and who will uh, make a very effective uh, 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 legislative function in this, uh, uh, in this legislative body. Uh, of course, we must omit this old idea of the representative that he is a man of service or a, a, he must be a man of power to have a pressure on the governmental uh, sector to uh, make uh, uh, services and make uh, the requests of the uh, people of his circuit uh, firstly and to be performed uh, because, of course, we now have a very total different function for the legislative body. It's now a, 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 an entity of uh, uh, laws, an entity of new laws. Uh, to uh, translate this new constitution. It's uh, an entity for controlling and reviewing the performance of the, uh, uh, of the government and uh, uh, evaluating it and of course to uh, uh, ask it or investigate with it if it's needed for any faults or mistakes can be done during this uh, political life. So we, we must change our uh, vision for uh, 